Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Laurel Park here on Monday. It is the 7th of November, 2022. Go to look at the 7th race from Laurel, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world, um, you know, for the next uh, month or so. Laurel's going to be running on Monday afternoons, which I find quite cool. Hopefully they could do it a little bit more, especially if they have cards like this, some great turf racing today. But the seventh race from Laurel, it's allowance optional claimer per $62,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards, never won three races. A main claim starter or or Maryland sired bread race, which never won four races. Optional claim price, $55,000. Uh, going for that purse is $62,000. Field of nine horses heading to the turf course. The distance of ground here of 1,600 meters, or the distance of ground of one mile on the Laurel Turf course. 1,600 meters, one mile. Portable rails are up at 17 feet, so it's still the inner portion of the turf course. They usually run with two lanes at Laurel. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number five horse here, Ever Dangerous. 5416 for me in the Superfecta. 5416 Super. Top selection of five horse, Ever Dangerous. Five year old by Kittens Joy. George Weaver trains. Fergal Lynch gets the mount. The horse's most recent appearance came the 31st of July at, at Saratoga. Mile 316 on the Melon Turf course, an optional 80 claimer. And the horse finished six by five and a quarter lengths that day. And he just kind of stalked from OI poster and he just never got there it wasn't his day to win refreshing here coming to Laurel not the world's toughest race I think he'd get the job done two back in the Mammoth stakes at Mammoth the mile on the 18th of June he's finished eighth by five and a half lengths that day and again facing very tough horses he didn't break so well he sat a little closer but then he just kind of hit the wall he got beat by better horses there and then at Saratoga last summer a mile eighth on the inner and optional 100 he finished second by one three quarter lengths he closed up well behind Le Imperator who was a decent horse a grade one winner um or a graded winner um he didn't break so well but he really, like i said he closed up well late that not a bad run after all sudden done and then the 30th of april of 2021 at churchill mile eighth and optional 80 he finished third by two and a half lengths that day a little of a trouble trip uh beginning which cost him he actually had a great three-year-old campaign to end off the three-year-old campaign on uh breeders cup day at keeneland uh november the 6th 2020 a mile eighth in byron station he won by a half length, breaking from 14 to 14 at 74 to 1. He stalked, he got the lead, and he got the job done. A very good race. That was his last victory. I think coming off some decent workouts on the Oklahoma train turf at Saratoga, I think he's sitting on a good run. At 3 to 1, let's use him. It wouldn't surprise me if the four horse passion play gets the job done. Um, I like his win at Pimlico last month very nicely. His race is in defeat, at, the race two back in defeat at Laurel at uh, Colonial wasn't bad at all. Um, you know, he started here once three back going a mile where he finished fourth by two lengths and he just kind of hit the wall. But the speed is somewhat holding up here at Laurel. It wouldn't surprise me if he steals it on the front and then 4-1. I'll use an early pick 4. But to recap my selection for the 7 from Laurel, let's take the 5 horse Ever Dangerous. Kip, kudos to the 4 horse Passion Play. 5-4-1-6 Super. 5-4 in your multi-race. So good luck to all and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck everybody.